Hey guys, I'm going to do a little update video on the Vista Zenix tutorial. Um, so somebody recently asked me in the comments how you would use a drop down box instead of a um, instead of a buttons. So I will. What I'm going to do is I'm going to jump into the project. I'm going to show you how to do the update. Um, it's going to be a quick little video. I'm still going to be using 4.7.6. Uh, there's literally no change in how you do it into 4.8. So yeah, give me a sec, I'll be right back. Hi, right, so we're back. Um basically, sorry, let's go off a little bit. Um so this is what we have, this is what I left you guys with. The if you click these, they change the shadow quality, they change the texture quality. Now, how these commands work is they actually, they use a number um, of 0 for off, for low, um, 1 for medium, 2 for high, and 3 for epic. Now, what we are going to do is we are actually going to change this up. So, what we're going to do is we're going to grab the shadow quality, the whole box, and we're going to copy it, and we're going to paste it into the select box. So, there's the shadow quality once again. And... Now we can actually remove all these buttons, Oops. remove all these buttons, and under is this box not far? There we go. So under here we're going to actually add a. It's under perimeter. No, no, is it? No, it's not perimeter. It's under input. So under input we're going to say a combo box, and we're going to drag it into the horizontal box. Now, the combo box, what you want to do is you want to say fill, so that you have the whole amount of space. And then, we are going to add some elements. So, under content, I usually just add about 10. You can do 5. It depends on how pretty you want, you want it to look, but I prefer 5 to 10 padding. I really do prefer 10. So, I'm just going to keep it at 10. And, yeah. So, after you fill it, what you're going to have to do is, um, you're going to go down to content, so we can actually close slot, then go down to content, and then you're going to add three, four elements. So under zero, you're going to say off, off, low, let's say low. So we're going to stick it to the exact same things here. Uh, medium, high, and epic. Alright, so uh, we're doing this because under the graph, as you can see, it's up to three, and that's exactly what it looks like there. So, now, um, selected option, I will come back with another video, as I'm still also trying to figure it out. Um, you might have to do this in C++, but for the selected option, um, you kind of have to do a get um, kind of thing going. But yeah, we'll sort that out soon. So, what's going to happen is, on, on selection changed, I'm going to add a new combo. Now, I'm going to say here, I'm going to drag this out and say execute console command. Okay, and it's exactly going to be exactly the same. So now, select item is a string, which means it will. Select, oops, sorry, I'm trying to do a print string here. I'm trying to make sure it's doing the right thing. Um, print string, print that. Alright. Compile, play. End uh, options, and we're going to change it. Okay, it prints it to low. Um, alright, that's fine. Print it to the low. Epic. Alright. So, um, give me a sec, I'll be right back. Alright, guys, so I figured it out again. Um, so it's a little bit different because what I did in my other project is I actually, um, I have a resolution box that I'm using right now. And um, that's quite simple because it's this is what I need. I need a string. Uh, for shadow quality, I actually need a number. So the problem is with changing it to a number, you cannot, if I change this to, if this is a string of low, the first one, for example, is a select item, it will be low because the string here is low. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually create a, a variable called select shadow quality, which is an integer. Now. As you do this, you're going to firstly create a branch and you're going to connect it. So the condition for this branch would be does the selected item, which is 
um, for example, let's say we select low, it will be low, so you're going to say equal, equal, and it will equal the string. So if it equals to low, and this statement is true, you can continue, which we will then set, so remember you hold Alt and then select the shadow quality, you drag it out to create a set, and you set this to zero. Alright, then, however, if it's false, you're going to make another branch, branch, Oh, um, by the way, if you want to create a branch quickly, you just um, you hold B and you click create a branch. So then, if that's not true, so if it's not low, then it will then equal equal another string called me medium, and does it equal to medium? If true, um, if you select something like this and you control W, it will create a clone so you do that, and if true, then set the shadow quality to 1 right, this is still going to be 60, fantastic right, so I like to space my things out a little bit, it makes it a little bit neater so, otherwise, if this is not true then you will go false, create another branch for flow control, and then drag this out again. Once again, you can actually make this a variable to make this a little bit quicker, but um, yeah, I'm just doing this quick. And if this says hi, then you set the shadow quality that is selected to 2, and then otherwise if false, uh, then you set this, actually you don't even need this, if false, then you just set the shadow quality to 3. Because how this works, why I'm doing this immediately there is because if it's not um, low, medium, or high, then it will immediately become epic. Alright, so it's just it's a quick way to do it. Uh, you could do another branch and say it does equal to epic if you want to be very super careful. But um, you don't have to. So after creating that, what you want to do is you want to say execute console command. Now every single one of these sets will be connected to this execute console command. Uh, there we go. And now the command will be a little bit different. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click and type append append string. And I hope I still have this. No, I do not. Okay, so you get a string, you get the shadow quality with sg dot shadow quality space number of the, as the quality. Uh, so the append is here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put that in sg shadow quality space, and in the bottom, what you wanna do is you wanna take this selected shadow quality, hold control, drag it out to, to do a get, and then you wanna drag it in and convert it to a string. Then you're going to connect the return value to the command and compile. Now, this is a very quick way to do it. I'm pretty sure there's a better way to do it, but this is how I did it. So let's do a quick test. I'm going to go options. Now, watch the shadows. So, low, no shadows, medium, high, and epic. Uh, not really much change okay um, between epic and high there's not much change but that's just preferences no, sorry wrong project right so there we go um, yeah, so thank you very much guys um, also guys I really want to thank you guys for 50 subs um, as well as 2600 and something views um, it's pretty awesome so yeah, today I'm actually not so busy, so I came back, recorded something for you guys, uh, and yeah. So anyways, thank you very much guys, um, Ilya, and I'll check you next time.